And so now we're getting to the heart of this event, the GSV Cup. And not only is this the heart of this event, the entrepreneurs have always been at the heart of the ASU GSV Summit. So please, a round of applause for all of you entrepreneurs out there. I know there's hundreds of you. This is probably my favorite part of the evening. Tyler, didn't you win this award before? We did, it's true. Clever won this award back in 2013. And no joke, the validation uh, that we got from this award really changed the trajectory of our company. Uh, gave us the confidence to keep pursuing our vision. And I'm just thrilled that we get to be here now passing it forward to the next generation and honoring the next generation of entrepreneurs to come. So back in the day, I understand your award was a pat on the back from Deborah Quazzo? Yeah, it was a little bit different back then. There was no million dollars in prizes handed out by the audience. Deborah came and gave you a pat on the back. Um, but it's a little bit different tonight. Tonight, we are going to be awarding in real time one million dollars in cash and prizes to one lucky startup. This is, by the way, non-dilutive capital. So this is like, as a startup, this is gold. So Julia, why don't you tell us, tell folks, how did we get to these final three? So we started off with 700 entrepreneurs, and then that group got uh, um, uh, cohorted into the Elite 200. And that Elite 200 received a whole bunch of interesting training, which we're going to talk about a little bit later. Then for 200, it came down to 10. And tonight, we have the final three. And it's up to you all to vote and determine which entrepreneur will bring home a million dollars in cash and prizes. That's right, people. We need you to pay attention because we have the three finalists with us here tonight. They are going to present to all of us their startup, their dream, what they've been working on. And at the very end, there's gonna be real-time voting and no one other than those of us here tonight are going to cast votes and decide who leaves here with the prize. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming Tom Sayer from Ello. Hi, I'm Tom and I'm the CEO of Ello. At Ello, we're creating a new way for children and technology to interact. One that's more fun, more engaging, and more effective. And we've just shown that this is possible by creating the world's first real-time AI reading coach that works with real physical books. Reading is probably the foundational skill for learning. If you're behind at reading, education is gonna be so much harder. The great news is we know how kids learn to read. Yet 60% of children are behind grade level in the US. And that's because not every child has access to a teacher with the skills and the time that they need. So in steps Ello. A child reads from a real book, Ello sits next to them on their tablet and does exactly what a real reading coach would do. Motivates them, engages them in the story, coaches them using phonics-based coaching when they get stuck. Here, Ello's um, helping this boy sound out the word skunk. Um, and then here, this little girl, she's laughing at a joke that Ello made about the book that she's reading. In fact, every product decision we make is based on two things. What would an amazing reading coach do? And what will increase a love of reading? This has only become possible in the last couple of years because of a huge leap forward in speech recognition technology. In fact, our model is beating Google Cloud's API at the task of following a child reading by 30%. Um, so we're gonna make good use of the Google Cloud credits we're getting from this. We're starting off with a physical book subscription. We send five books a month, the child reads them with Allo and then sends them back. We wanna really quickly increase access though, and so we're gonna build a digital only version and a version that works on smartphones. Within two years, we wanna be able to teach a child to read from start to finish. That's just not possible with traditional apps. And from that point on, we'll have the foundation to revolutionize education. We'll have the technology platform to deliver these learner-centered experiences at scale. And we'll have the foothold into families' holds, homes as a trusted authority. And now is the time. COVID has pushed forward the parent market by a decade. 
Because of these changes in behaviors and opinions, we think that there's going to be a revolution in education, and we think it's going to happen through the home. Um, so let me tell you about the team. First up is Dr. Elizabeth Adams. She's a clinical child psychologist, subject matter expert, and she's the person that makes Ello so inspiring and so effective. Then there's Kathleen Voss. He's a Stanford machine learning PhD. He sold two companies already, and he's 25 years old. Uh, he's the brains behind Ello's advanced technology. We're also advised by Professor Terry Winograd. He was the director of the Human Computer Interface Lab at Stanford. Um, and he's like the world's leading expert on how humans and computers interact. He was also Larry Page's advisor when he was starting Google. And then lastly, me. Um, before Google, uh, sorry, before Ello, I was um, head of adoption and impact at Google. And it was there that I saw the potential for technology to really change how humans learned, but also saw that we had to break out of the current mold. So the last couple of months, we've been testing Ello with a group of 50 families. Um, and the impact we've seen has just been phenomenal. It's a fairly extreme example, but one mom, um, she got it for her younger child, and her older child started using it. Her older child had selective mutism, and she had never heard her child read before. A much more like regular example is um, Marissa. So Marissa had basically given up on reading with her son during the pandemic. The fights had just become too much. Now her son is reading daily, both with Ello and just with books in general. I'm really excited to say that we came out of private beta yesterday. We're now in public beta and ready to scale this impact much further. If any of you have kids who are of reading age, we'd love to have you try us. Um, thank you. I'm Tom, and we're Ello. All right. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Ello for all of your work making it possible for kids to learn to read. Next up, we're going to hear from our second finalist, Ava Sadeghi, co-founder and CEO of Simba. Give it up. Hello everyone, my name is Ava Sadeghi. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Simba, the leading talent development platform. We help companies streamline and scale their internship programs and apprenticeships. Our startup journey begins with my own. I'm a first generation Iranian American woman, passionate about human rights, and I went to school in Tucson, Arizona. <laughs> I knew I would need an internship to land my dream job. Did you know that Internships are the single most important factor to landing a job after college. But who has access? I was in Tucson and all the internships I wanted were in big cities like New York, DC, London, and they were unpaid. Then something amazing happened. I became one of the very first remote interns with the US Department of State based all the way in Washington, DC. This was a game changer. Now the State Department could extend its talent pool to bring on students like me in Tucson, Arizona, in Miami, Florida, Eugene, Oregon, Bismarck, North Dakota. And this was when I discovered the power of remote work firsthand to create access in a whole new way. In 2017, when I was a human rights fellow with late Congressman John Lewis in Atlanta, I co-founded Simba as my action project. Thank you. Our mission is to open up the workforce for millions of students just like me who did not have the access. When we got started building Simba, it wasn't that easy. We sat down with over 250 talent leaders and we understood one thing. Internships are a mess. They were using spreadsheets. On average, eight different platforms to scale a single remote program. We realized they needed a solution to scale. We listened and we built Simba the leading talent development platform that streamlines everything in one place. We are powering symbiotic experiences. We work with some exciting customers like Robinhood, Apple, Viacom, CVS, just to name a few. And here's how they use Simba today. First, you can welcome everyone and onboard them with a meaningful experience. Then, you can manage all their projects and track their performance. Managers love this feature, and today we've created over 16,000 projects on Simba. Then you can invite them to a community page where everyone builds profiles, participate in live discussion boards, videos, and contents. And last, 
but definitely not least, is our dashboard feature. This empowers program managers to understand the success of their program so they can continually build incredible programs. Our business model is pretty straightforward. We charge a setup fee and a fee based off of the number of users. The market for internships is exciting. Companies each year are spending $132 billion on their internship programs. However, they're not converting all their candidates. This means nearly half of the spend is not being realized. We're changing this narrative. In the past year, we have skyrocketed. We powered over 5,000 internship programs and gone from zero to one million ARR. We have 100% renewals, positive net retention, and close to $15 million in our sales pipeline today. Simba is powering the workforce revolution, says Forbes. And we've been mentioned and featured in the likes of the Washington Post, TechCrunch, Fortune, and so many more. We are proud to be a diverse, all-female founded tech startup. <laughs> Collectively, we've done 31 internship experiences, and we know the space like no one else. We are so passionate about the work we're doing. We're backed by leaders in this space who believe in the work we're doing, like the first CHRO of LinkedIn, all the way to pioneers in the field and the future of work. We have an exciting mission. In the next three years, we want to power one million job opportunities through Simba. We invite you to join us. Together, let's open up the workforce. Thank you. Well, how about another round of applause for Simba? What an amazing presentation. And now it's my great pleasure to introduce our final presenter this evening, James Rubin from Hellosaurus. How about a big round of applause for him? Welcome, James. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> I'm James Rubin, founder and CEO of Hellosaurus. Hellosaurus has been called by Forbes as the Mr. Rogers for the iPhone generation. And we want to take Mr. Rogers' mission into the 21st century by empowering kids to become anything they want to be through compelling narrative and positive interaction. The problem that we see today is not unlike the one that Mr. Rogers saw himself. Parents feel very guilty relying on screens to educate and entertain their kids. Meanwhile, device use and availability rates are at all-time highs, with kids spending the majority of their waking hours on screens at home and at school. And parents and kids can't agree on a solution. Kids want a streaming platform, but parents don't because it turns their kids into passive zombies, has little educational value, and generally isn't age-appropriate. And parents want educational apps, but kids don't. They get bored of them really quickly. It feels like homework, and there's limited variety and quality. Our proprietary content solution combines the best parts of streaming video and the best parts of mobile apps. We take fun, customizable gameplay activities that teach kids new skills, integrate them into easy-to-make video narratives that teach kids about real-world topics that they love, all bundled into one subscription app, that's 100% kid safe and always ad free. Hellosaurus is filled with interactive stories guided by experts who kids love and parents trust. So kids can be, a be an explorer with the Wiggles, be an astronomer with Neil deGrasse Tyson, be a firefighter with Katie and so much more. We focus on unlocking skills that can be learned only through interaction. So we use the amazing technology at our disposal, cameras, microphones, multi-touch screens, to empower kids to practice SEL, curricular, and cognitive skills, all in a format that they'll love and enjoy. The real secret behind what we do is our proprietary editing software that allows anybody to make a video interactive super quickly. So something that would take an engineering team months of time previously to embed gameplay pieces into video, can be done by a single, non-technical person in a matter of a day using our Creator Studio. We've started by selling to families, you know, focusing on three to 11-year-olds, a, a market that's huge in the US and even larger globally. 
Capturing kids' attention has been a primary focus for entertainment and education companies now, and parents are relying more than ever on digital babysitters for device-led playtime, screen time. Of course, there are massive opportunities for us to expand in lots of different markets. And we just launched our beta about six months ago, and we've seen incredible traction and incredible feedback from families. In addition to a, a couple fancy awards, we've more importantly seen hundreds of thousands of activities played by kids and session length and retention numbers that are far above industry standard. We've signed on some incredible creators to make interactive stories on our platform. I started Hellosaurus before Hellosaurus. I helped run a company called HQ Trivia, where I pioneered the interactive video format itself. And our team is filled with parents, producers, engineers, experts from incredible companies, and we're backed by some incredible investors as well, including GSV, that really know how to make incredible experiences for kids. So thanks so much. Please vote for Hellosaurus. And I look forward to meeting you all afterward in the dancing pit. <laughs> <laughs> and it's my great pleasure to introduce Rachel Manning from Google Cloud, and she's going to lead the next part of the program. And we so appreciate Google, Google Cloud's sponsorship of the GSV Cup and Google's long-term sponsorship and partnership with ASU GSV Summit. So Give it Rachel, up for Rachel. Take it away. Oh my goodness. Thank you so, so much. I'm humbled to be here tonight representing Google Cloud, and it's amazing to be amongst so many passionate and innovative minds helping to transform education, so thank you. Um, this evening, over 700 global startups have um, applied to the GSV Cup, and um, it, it, it entered the GSV Cup, which is sponsored by Google Cloud, Holon IQ, HubSpot for Startups, and GSV Ventures. And I am humbled and amazed to uh, present an award of $1 million in cash prizes and cloud startups to the winner. So without further ado, I turn it to Tyler. All right. Well, let's get started. Uh, if Thea Noble, the lead of the GSV Cup, could join us on stage, we will start with the third place winner. <laughs> Drum roll, please. The third place winner of the 2021 GSV Cup is Hellosaurus. Okay, okay guys, now we have a really special treat because to help us present number one and number two, we have an amazing woman who doesn't need a tremendous introduction. However, bear with me, I'm going to give one. Okay, so Mindy Kaling previously created, yes, woo! <laughs> created and starred in The Mindy Project and also served as a writer, executive producer, and star of The Office, <laughs> earning six Emmy nominations for her work. In 2019, Kaling executive produced, wrote, and starred in the feature film Late Night. She's also the author of the New York Times bestselling book, Why Not Me, as well as Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me? and other concerns. So it is like an absolute passion and awesome dream to be able to bring Mindy to the stage uh, for this next award. Hi, hi everyone, where should I, where should I be? Right here? Okay, great. I'm announcing some important stuff. I feel a lot of pressure. Okay, all right, great, okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, what a supportive crowd of strangers. <laughs> Everyone is clearly drunk, I think. Okay, uh, I came at a perfect time. Okay, so I'm actually gonna name the, the first prize winner first. Um, and can we have a drum roll? I think there is one. 
yes, okay. The first prize goes to Simba. Should I do this one right away? Okay. Awesome, and the second prize, drum roll please, goes to Ello. Or Ello. Congrats everybody, this is awesome, congratulations! They're taking a photo, okay. My pleasure. All right, thank you. Let's give it up for all our winners okay. tonight.